The music and sounds you will hear in this documentary are a testament to the talent, beauty and resilience we found with the Luo people of Ahero. Just like many of us, they have dreams of success but face challenges when it comes to healthcare, education, environmental conditions and support. Their sounds have lent to the creation of the sounds of the Luo drum kit which is now at your disposal. It is our hope that you get involved by donating using the link provided in the description so that we can keep this community healthy, vibrant, and ever expanding with their creativity. Located approximately 333 kilometers away from Nairobi, sits a hero, a sunny agricultural town in Kisumu, Kenya. My mission was clear. Document a culture many may never have seen or heard before. So together with some friends, I set off on a journey. I hoped to bring us and the world closer to the authentic sounds and sights of the Luo community. I wanted to live like the people over here, eat as they do, sleep as they do, and see their home through their eyes. My goal with this is to merge the authentic voice with the sounds that get us fired up today and build a resource for others in the industry to get in on the action, innovate and collaborate. But I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the story of our journey to our hero. For me, day one started at around 4 a.m. because I had barely slept the, the night before. So we're currently in Nairobi, downtown of Nairobi, uh, railways. So we just got in the bus. I'm here chilling with Vic Mas, Blue Doll, as you can see right It's popping. <laughs> How you feel, bro? I'm feeling good. So apparently we are supposed to go with uh, with flight, uh, but I told Major uh, because uh, what is related to what we are going to do in Kisumu, why not just catch a bus and catch the moment from here to every stop until Kisumu. And by the end of this trip, when these videos will be up, I swear to God, I swear on Jesus' sandals, this one is going to be one of the best things ever. So this this was related. You just say Jesus Sanders. <laughs> so right now we're currently in Nakuru. We've made a stop, decided to stretch the legs. You know, it's been a couple hours. And right now we're indulging in some bread plums. Natural. We're all the way from Limuru. Plums. That's how you greet people here. We're in a hero. As you can see right there, we are total terror station. I know some of you guys are gonna be dropping down in the comment section saying it's a hero. <laughs> it's not a hero, it's a hero. I'm Kaltuna. I'm Kaltuna. Director for Hero Cultural Dance. I'm a choreographer. I'm a dancer. <laughs> I'm a songwriter. Wow. I'm an artist in every way. So many arts. This is a hero. Welcome to a hero. A hero was many things. It was unexpected. As you know, you're yogi yoga team, the pig. Hey, you're saying, hey, sing with me, madam. Welcome in. 
<laughs> it was warm, it was hot, it was, it was an experience. It was really an amazing time. Why are you leaving La Vida Girls? I think I think I need a low name. Yes. Since I'm in low land. Eh. <laughs> so, what time are you, are you born? I don't even know. Ah. Last was the day I was born. You, you can't tell if it was in the evening, in the morning. Just look at you never have that conversation with mom. <laughs> Maybe I call, I call my mom. What time was I born? So I'm about to be given. They want to give me a, a low name. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it's just part of the whatever, like a name for this, for the area. What time was I? What time was I born? Was I born in the morning, in the afternoon, or the evening? I was born in the evening. Ah, okay. So, for the ambo. So, so my own name is Odiambo. The evening. Yeah. Oh, the sun was right. necessarily find the, the authentic sounds of the Luo people online, right? Or if they are there, they're very hard to find because I haven't seen any. So basically what I was hoping for was to get some, some solid sounds. Producers usually have to end up recreating uh, the sounds, probably from their own experiences, and it usually doesn't come out in a very authentic way. So I was like, if you want to create authentic African music, especially in the digital age where people are just creating music uh, using their laptop, I decided to, to create a difference and go to the source itself to collect the authentic African sounds from an African instrument played by an African who lives in the village in Africa. <laughs> My grandfather was playing this thing a long time. And even, he died when I was still young. I even didn't know this thing. But when I was growing up, I met somebody who was doing it. And I liked what he was doing. So the, and then that's why I decided, I, I just decided that I must play this. And that is how I came. So it's like now, it was in the blood. It was in the blood. Like, they were foreign things to me, but when I'm on them, like, I'm just, you are doing it. Even if it's not to perfection, but I'm glad I'm doing it. It excites me. When I'm depressed, it's like uh, a therapy for me. It's therapeutic for me as a musician, for me to go to the, to the booth and uh, put out lyrics, my frustration. I put everything in studio just to feel offloaded. Why do you choose to play? Uh, I'm a, wh what does it do to you? Okay, <laughs> so far when I was, it, I started it when I was in school okay. and uh, surprisingly this is what paid my school fees. Wow. When I was still in school, yeah. from Form 1 up to Form 4 level mm. and I think that is where I stopped. Wow. Mm. So it is, it is good, it, 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 it sometimes put food on my table. Yeah. 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 So I like it because of that. It pays. Tuni vile atuja pata vile kutoka tu. But one day, one time, I think I'll be somebody somewhere because of it. I still like it. I still love it. But since that we have family, there's some people who need something from us. So we put it down first. We go look for that is when we come back. So at na ingeza kuwa ati ni hindi na leta kabisa kabisa I think inge kuwa mbali na kulipo vizibu kasa
as an artist myself and also engaging with numerous artists from different locations, what I've noticed is that the art is usually expressed first and the monetary aspect comes later but probably because of the system that we're currently living in uh, it's something that's always looking at the, at the back of your mind just tapping your shoulder every day that we need to survive and we need to make money and all that type of stuff but after engaging with all the artists I could feel and tell that it's more of the art first what the music is doing for them as an individual how they feel when they're playing the instrument why they picked up the, the instrument it's not usually that I picked up the instrument to, to create a livelihood to, to make some money for, for my family it's usually like a, a byproduct like a plus to the, to the story Hey, that beautiful song reminds me of one wonderful day, a day that I saw the wonders in the universe. Therefore, when I sing, I want you all to join me in the song. Definition means possession, but the way I see it, that's not always a negative thing. In different circumstances, it can mean different things. I believe it means being in the moment, creating songs with other people, letting a culture you have never experienced before teach you something new. A hero, let the jog in me, as I connected with the kind the resilient and the free, tasted the richness of the land and embraced the hero bounce. I hope the Jogi guides you too as you create your own beats with the sounds of a hero. And if it pleases you, 
I hope you donate and share this story with others. Until we journey again for the sounds of Done. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Give me that one as well. <laughs> Stay with you. Woo! <laughs> 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 So we to give him like a shout out, he can mention, so he said he's an artist, so maybe you can just like introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Felix Ekena Demba, though I'm well known as Feli B254. Give us a freestyle bro. Like, I give you a freestyle. One fire one. Father Lord to the top, God ya bless me. Illuminati to the ground, God ya cast them. Mina kanya pepos out with the blood lord. Nipanishi mbeleza out, oh my lord. Yeah, what's up guys? Uh, this is Ken, artist, uh, as you all know. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys, uh, so that you can promote me as well. So what are we about to do now? Like, what's the morning like? Uh, okay, so the morning routine, we have all taken a shower. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even like the audience. Like, yes, <laughs> I believe it's... Uh, I think going to take the passport shower, where you only... You only watch the private places only. <laughs> with the with the passport, you are yeah. saying that it's for the, the private parts. Yes. But then you see like how when you take the picture. Yes. Right. Yeah. The passport size photo starts here. From here going up. That is the original passport. Not, not with the humidity of Kisumu. <laughs> <laughs> Giving me immense power to make the best drum kits. As you can see the chants and the calling that I was doing to the gods. Adi. Adi. Dani macho And then we, we were doing a competition. How are you there? Yeah. Sirikano konyu wa na mwani. Dio to. Why in your head? So Dani is basically saying uh, you need the government to help us. The water is not clean. They need to do something for the water. So, we can have a, a clean water. They, it really makes sense, but people around here are laughing what that is saying, but they don't have, they don't know how much impactful uh, in whatever he has, he has said. So basically, Dan is saying government need to come out and clean uh, the so we can have a fresh water.